getting ready to leave Sholo and head over to Cottonwood, Arizona. Don't forget your water pressure regulator. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Just in case you come upon this and it could save you some money. Let's come along! Let's go! Alright, that is really cool. It's flipping hot. We come around a corner here and we started to see some of the red rocks. It's butte or butt. Yeah. I don't know. It's about 106 degrees outside. This is a really cool view up here. Well, the thing was going to attack me. Came right at me. We're built at different times, different years. Michelle was like, you run down there. Make sure we can get out. Got you, sweetie. And she's right. I tasted her brisket. <laughs> Low and head over to Cottonwood, Arizona to our next Thousand Trails campground. Trying to utilize that as much as we can, save on costs, but I wanted to take you over here to the clubhouse here at Venture and RV Resort. Just kind of show you something. It's a Sunday morning. They have the clubhouse closed because of COVID, but I thought this was kind of neat. Didn't stop them from having their church service and music, as you can see. Thought that was kind of neat. We're gonna hurry up and get packed up here so we can get going. I left the bedroom slide open for Michelle right now until she gets ready. So that's our last slide. So we'll leave the electrical plugged in and get everything else ready until we're ready to go. Don't forget your water pressure regulator. I might have done that once. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Oh, you're so funny. It's always a good idea to have your partner do some of these things as well, or at least show them how. And uh, if they don't feel comfortable doing it, just keep showing them and let them see. So if something happened and they were on their own, that they at least have an idea. All right, now wet your fingers. And <laughs> Whatever. Okay. It's hotter. I hear the sound of empty streets. Yesterday has gone to sleep. So all that's left is you and me. I can promise you're the only thing I see. You see that road sign back there? What? It said Gray Squirrel Road. And for some reason, my mind went straight to In Living Color with James Carey. Oh yeah. gosh. He was like a boy scout or something. You have his walkie talkie. We check the gray squirrel. We check the gray squirrel. We check the gray squirrel. We're currently driving through the Tonto National Forest. Quiet voices in the night. The time is running out of sight. Passing by tries to carry all the whispers that it finds. The walls are listening when we talk, making echoes as we walk. There's no one left but you and me. It's like a made up place that only we can see. Hi, Bar. Cottonwood, 6% grade, going down, 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 down. Temperature outside, 100 degrees. It's a hot one today. What are we doing? Yeah, I don't know. Standing underneath the lights. Thousand Trails Road. Sign that says the winery is open. All about that. <laughs> Pretty close to a four hour drive here from Sholo. 
got our new site here. I think we're gonna like it really well. We don't have any shade trees though. Put us up here instead, but that's okay because the internet connection is supposed to be better up here, your cell phone signal. Pretty level spot here. This up here is the newer section. Well, we had a little mishap happen, not too bad. Actually, it's pretty good, believe it or not. Our slide did not come out on this one particular slide. This is the second time it's done this and didn't want to come out and I got really lucky. So I just wanted to show you this just in case you come upon this and it could save you some money. Right up here, all I did was take a screwdriver and tap it just a little bit. Don't hit it hard. Just tap it like three or four times. Go back in and it works. It gets stuck every once in a while. That's only happened two times in the last year and a half. Don't get in a hurry and just replace it. You tap it a couple times, two or three times like I said. And uh, actually I said three or four, but anyway. Just tap it and see if that takes care of it, and it might. I get hung up a little bit sometimes. We've met a couple people already that were followers. Had Steve and Jen and Lainey come over. Boy, that sun. <laughs> they gave some advice on a place to go, and then another couple that are also followers spotted us out, and they gave us some advice on a place as well. First, we're going to go to Jerome and try the Asylum restaurant. Mm -hmm. And then the other place was where? Hideaway something we got it written down at home yeah. we did write it down that is in Sedona so we're gonna check them both out they both sound like really really cool places and we were just looking at pictures and there's this great big huge piece of chocolate something and Michelle said we're going there yeah we're there I can't believe this is a street. This has got to be one of the coolest RV parks that we've been to. I know. Ure was pretty cool. This is probably second. We're at Verde Valley, a thousand trails. It's really spread out. We're up on a newer section, but uh, check out the views. Some of the lower areas, and it goes way back over that way as well. That's where the pool is, clear over there. They do have trails like this. It'll go all the way down to the pool. Don't suggest it, drive down. <laughs> <laughs> it's far. The top, it's a newer area. It's really nice, doesn't have as much shade, but you do have very good cell service which you do not down there we got a few places we're gonna go around the cottonwood area we're gonna do a big loop and try to see how much we can get done today let's come along let's go <laughs> ready for a journey first stop turn left onto east 1000 trails road that wasn't it the montezuma castle national monument Checker. All right, we just arrived at uh, Montezuma Castle National Monument. We have no idea where we go, but I'm guessing we're gonna find out. It is hot, 102 degrees. Building closed. Oh. There are people on the other side. The visitor center is closed. It says it's supposed to get 107 today. It's already 102. Last we checked about 15 minutes ago, and we're going on a hike. Yay! Masks are optional, but there is quite a few people here. Looks like we're not the only smart people hiking in 102 degrees. <laughs> I thought we were gonna make this quick. Where's your mask? It's, I have it. Thank you. 
centuries ago and receiving an invitation into this cliff-dwelling home. What you would have seen might well have been something like this cutaway model of Montezuma Castle. On the top floor, the elderly village lookout keeps his solitary vigil. His eyes search for approaching danger to those working the fields below the castle. Hot. It's flipping hot. It's flipping hot. That's where we're going. To, but we're going to the parking, but hopefully we see the Cathedral Rock. Cathedral Rock Park. The humidity not only is 102. Well, I think it's it says 108 there now. I believe it. The humidity is double than what it has been, a whole 14 percent. But from 7 percent to 14 percent, we're noticing the difference. I couldn't imagine being this hot back in Iowa with that 80 some percent humidity. Shall we go? Let's go. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. Two years later I have started thinking If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking We come around a corner here and we started to see some of the red rock of getting close to Sedona. Beautiful. First thing came out of Michelle's mouth, it looks like a layered cake. <laughs> Ingenious. Oh, Red Rock. I wonder if they sat around a round table and was like, we need to think long and hard about this place. Something very, very unique. We must name it Red Rock. Yep. Visitor centers closed. We saw some little boy running out with his dad holding on to something like it was going to get away. We thought, well, he looks like he has to go to the restroom. But then we saw it's closed. Poor little guy. I know. Find the nearest bush. Oh, I got you. There's no reason to chase and payment on my own. Cause you're here to stay every night and day. All right, I'm digging Sedona already. Apparently you're supposed to stop. He In a just gave, mile. The I gave you the, Take the second exit onto state stink eye. Well, we might have to check that place out back there. It's got little shops and stuff. She didn't say ice cream. A little quick detour. We spotted a sign that said scenic view, so we got to check it out. Sunglasses on, it kind of ruins the true colors. So, this tells the names of them. This one right here is Bell Rock. Okay. Then Courthouse Butte, or Butt, okay. I don't know. <clears throat> and Lee Mountain. Okay. It's about 106 degrees outside. Scorcher. Yes, it is.
That's Cathedral Rock. Kind of wanted to show this area. I don't know. Maybe we'll take a hike just a little bit up here, but we're not going to go very far. The sun was escaping the clouds, and we knew how important it was to go see something else for you guys, so. That was our sign. We would have loved to walk more, but we really needed to get going. We didn't want to disappoint you. Next. This is a really cool view up here. Time to go take some pictures? Or? Yeah, just mm -hmm. make sure we're down here by five. Okay. Okay, yep. sounds good. Thanks. Uh huh. We're all over up here. You swear there's pie up here. When we were coming through the gate, it said the gate closes at 4:45. We looked at our clock and it said 4:44. <laughs> Jeez, those lizards are everywhere. The thing was gonna attack me. Came right at me. The lady said that we just gotta be back by five and they close at five. So just FYI, this is pretty neat up here. This thing's been running beside you. Just 
section of the ruins were built at different times, different years. Mm -hmm. So like the oldest section was from 1050 to 1180. Wow. And it goes up as far as like 1380. 1300 AD is what you're saying? Yeah. too that they would enter from ladders from the roof like there was very few exterior doorways or something they'd hmm. enter from the top doorway from 1100 to about 1425 AD the Verde Valley was occupied by a people called the Southern Sinagua a name that means without water in Spanish. The Sanagua constructed a string of pueblos up and down the Verde River, forming a loosely knit polity called the Verde Confederacy that engaged in mutual trade and unified defense for over 300 years. just looked at the clock. She said, make sure you're down by five. Pulled out my phone. It said 4.59 and five. It just switched to five. Don't lock us out. Spirits will be mad at us. She was like, you run down there. Make sure we can get out. Got you, sweetie. Made it. There's the girl, she's leaving. Uh, we stopped here in Old Town Cottonwood and had literally the best the barbecue best. that we've ever had. The brisket was the best I've ever had. Right here, Colt Grill. You gotta try it. And, oh. and she's right, I tasted her brisket and it was actually the best that I have ever had too. No joke, it was really good. And we had a vegetable, she had, um, Oh, coleslaw. Coleslaw, and I had a, ve a vegetable also, the butter garlic french fries. That'll about do it for today. Gonna get inside and transfer these videos over and uh, get ready for tomorrow. Don't forget to join us next week. Let's call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.